Hey what is up guys, my name is Eric and welcome to a real quick TF2 trading tutorial. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the backpack.tf uh, trading pod, which can be really useful especially if you're like me and you do a lot of trading every single day. Uh, so this like method automates everything for you. Well not everything, it used to automate everything before the escrow update but still it automatically uh, accepts all incoming trade offers that uh, <coughs> are equal to or like the opposite side offers more than what you're asking on for on backpack.tf. I'll go a little bit more into depth in depth in this tutorial later on about that. Uh, but yeah, basically all you're going to need for this tutorial is um, the pod itself. That's it. So. So you're first going to be like, wait, so some of you might be like, what is Backpack.tf? Well, if you're new to trading, then Backpack.tf is basically the main site where every single TF2 item that exists gets priced. Uh, it's usually done by um, other people in the community. And this is the place where pretty much everyone looks for their item by price. Like, let's say you want to buy this, this, uh, don't, don't, conga, okay. Then you just search it up, Konga, and you can see, okay, so it's worth 7.33 rep. And then you can open it and click on the um, uh, icon here. And you can uh, actually go to the page of that specific item and see uh, who is selling for how much and who is buying for how much. They recently updated their um, like the website, so it looks a bit nicer now, in my opinion at least. Then the, on the left you can see everyone that is selling and on the right you can see everyone that's buying so you can just go both by that. Um, but yeah basically that's it, um, on backpack.df you can find the latest prices for the keys in refined uh, parts which used to be the uh, like uh, pretty much a currency like keys and refined are now. It used to be the same like 42 keys was one part at one point or something like that. But now they're falling, uh, they, they fall like last year, so they're pretty much used just now uh, regarding like trading. Um, anyways, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, what's backpack.tf4 mainly. There's a lot of people that like uh, post their trades here. There's a lot of people that use their forums and stuff. There's a lot of uh, DF2 related updates also posted on the website, so that's really good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so the second question, question might be. Well, where the hell do I get the ultimate pot one from? So basically all you have to do is go to backpack.tf, click on view more on the recent class field, uh, class field, um, app, class field orders, <laughs> sorry about that, and click on automatic, this will take to this page, I will probably link this in the, in the description so it's a lot easier for you guys. So basically all you have to do from here is click on this here, install node.js, once that is installed, click on the latest version. This will bring to bring you to yet another bitbucket.org page. And from here, select the uh, newest one. And sorry about the uh, uh, notifications on the bottom right. Uh, those are from my. Uh, let's just go on straights. Anyways, once that is downloaded, pretty much all you get is a dot var file. So you will need a um, var opening the, uh, program like WinRAR or SunZip or whatever you want to use. You will collect all of these files in the raw file, and all you have to do is um, uh, unwrap them into a folder. I, I like to keep my stuff clean, so I named everything like on test my desktop. I have a folder called desktop. Inside there, I everything organized, so Steam programs and trade off robots. Now, once you like first start it up, uh, if you want to start out the bot, you have to double click the automatic .bat file. It will first, um, when you first start it, as I said, uh, it will ask for a token and some other information. Uh, I'm not sure if it was if when you first launch it or when you go to settings. You can do that in both, I believe. In settings, you can change a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm not going to really show that. It's, uh, just my password and stuff is in there as well, so I don't really want to show that. Yeah, so I can blur it out, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Um, so basically, you, you're going to be uh, you're going to be asked a for a token. So 
how, how do you get it? Well, you get it by going to the going to backpack.tf the page, um, going to the top right corner where your name is, clicking on settings, it will bring you to this page general. From here, go down to advanced, and you can see the token. Now, the, now all you have to do is copy the token and paste it where it asks for it. I, it will be used in settings. Not too sure. I, I last uh, like first installed the uh, bot like a few months ago, and I've been using it since. And it's a really great program. Anyways, uh, once you do first like um, launch it and stuff, it will basically um, like how how does it work? It basically uses the token to connect to your backpack.tf page, where it can check for um, your last field listings like uh, stuff that you're selling and for how much and based on that it will uh, scan through all of your incoming trade offers and see uh, what they're offering like what the, what the other people are offering for your item let's say you are selling uh, let's take an example that I already have here okay let's say I'm selling this um, this item for 2.77 refined so if I get an offer for 2.88 in pure refined, pure metal, uh, then the bot will accept because I, in the settings you can set if you want overpay or not. If, if someone offers me 2.77 it will accept as well. If someone offers me 2.66 in pure uh, metal but also includes two craftable weapons, uh, the bot will recognize two craftable weapons as one scrap, so it will accept the offer as well. Um, I believe you have a setting for that in the setting thing as well. You can uh, you can change that option as well. But anyways, if someone offers like 2.33 for this item that I'm trying to sell for 2.77, then it will not accept it. It won't it won't decline it either. It will just do nothing. It will say something like. Uh, Offer does not like. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it says. Um, uh, skipping this offer does not match any backpack.tf listings. Very good. I have the bot open right now. So basically, this is what it will look like. If uh, someone offers you something uh, that is exact price or more than what you asked for on backpack.tf, then you will pr pretty much uh, have the purple trade here. It will say, uh, it will say like um, what, what you sold for how much, like for how much. It will have a purple trade here, and it will uh, uh, say like how much you asked for the specific item on backpack.tf, and then how much they offered in, and it will break it down to uh, like uh, if it, if someone used two refined and then like one reclaimed and then uh, two crafter craftable weapons and it will accept it and it will say which weapons there were and whatever and right under that it will say trade accepted offer so from here on uh, if you have mobile authentication enabled which you should have um, enabled it will greatly increase the security of your account and it will make trades instantly if the other party also has it enabled uh, which is not necessary but I mean it's also great to have Anyways, um, once you have, uh, once you do, uh, if you do have the mobile authentication enabled then it, and it accepts it, you will get a uh, trade confirmation on your phone like this. As you can see here, I'm not sure if the camera angle is very good. Understand <laughs> this? Um, yeah. Um, so basically, you get the in the confirmations. Uh, you will get the trade and you can confirm from here and yeah that's pretty much it um, you can now use the bot and it will automatically accept all of your trades without you doing anything well you have to do the mobile uh, accept accepting on the mobile or whatever but I mean that's a lot more easier than going through every single trade manually and then seeing if someone is offering like what they're offering is the same as you have on backpack.tf and then you just have to go through items that you have on sale like for me i usually sell a few hundred items at a time right now i've sold a lot of stuff i still have some stuff left but not that much uh but still it's kind of hard if someone sends me offers for all my 37 items that i have on sale right now uh then i probably have to like really do some maths and like 
yeah, you have to do a lot of counting and stuff. Uh, which is which is fine by me, but I mean, it's easier to just have the bot accept the trade offers that are exactly to exactly what you are looking for, and then I also personally accept like uh, item overpay, so and the uh, Cisco items for my DF2 items and whatever. So I pretty much just um, go through uh, those item offers and Cisco related offers manually as the bot does not take care of them, at, at least not at the moment, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but I mean, you have to, you have to work with what you have. So anyways, I've been rambling on a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I hope it was helpful to you guys. If it was, please click that like button down below. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Um, if you have any questions or also questions for the future videos or whatever, then leave this in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. What the fuck? Okay.